Hello everyone, this is Daniel from fitnessplanner.com. Today we've got a quick and fun workout for you that has a little bit of everything. So we've got four different groups to go through. Each group is gonna have three exercises. Uh, each exercise can be done twice before you move to the next exercise. And it's going to be a cardio exercise, a strength exercise, and a core exercise, just running through the line. So each group is gonna be the same, but different exercises for each group. So you don't need anything to get this done at all, uh, unless you want to add a little extra weight to those strength sections, uh, which you can use a set of dumbbells or some other kind of weight for that if you like. Uh, otherwise, you can do that body weight. We've got your warm-up and cool-down included, so you don't need either one of those. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. All right, everyone, we have 30 seconds a piece for each one of these warm-up exercises. Uh, trying to warm ourselves up relatively slowly so we can get into this uh, harder stuff. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece, starting off with a side step arm across. So it's nice and slow, stepping left to right. Bring that foot back behind you, those arms cross over top. Just make sure you're switching which arm is on top every single time. Relatively minor uh, differences, but they make a, a big difference in the long run. So. Just make sure you're not always doing the same side over top each time. All right, we're doing a side lunge with an overhead reach coming up next, about five seconds. All right, feet out nice and wide, lunge off to one side, big stretch, and same thing off to the other side, big stretch. Trying to limber up those hips as well as that torso. those lungs open. We're doing a slow butt kicker plus arm circles next. All right, stand back up. So nice and slow, those that butt kicker motion. Also, a nice big arm circle. Squeeze that heel to your butt as tight as you can each time. This isn't about a really quick movement like you would with a normal butt kicker. This is more just to limber up those legs. So alternating that arm circle with a nice squeeze heel to butt each time. All right, we're gonna do a torso twist plus a knee. So on the third time, two, you're gonna lift a knee. So one, two, three, alternating which knee comes up. If you're doing three rotations, that's the, the pattern you're going to be doing anyway. So should be relatively easy to fall into that every other. Or alternating, I should say. All right, we're going to a windmill toe touch next, so feet really nice and wide apart. Arms out to the side, you're gonna go down, touch one toe, come back up to the center, same thing, off the other side, and back up. Just keep alternating back and forth. Try and get as low down to that foot as you can with every single uh, repetition. I'm trying to make sure those legs stay nice and straight. I'm doing a squatting push pull next. So get to a squat position. So feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, press away from yourself, pull in as you come back up. Squat, push away, stand up, pull it in. Make sure that weight is evenly dispersed between heel and toe. If anything, leaning more into that heel than your toe. Just squat down as low as is comfortable. If you're not quite warmed up enough yet, if you're feeling like those hips are a little stiff or those knees are a little stiff, just limit that range of motion. All right, we're doing a boxer shuffle next. So just nice and light on those toes. If you wanna take the, the impact out of it, it's just gonna be kind of rocking back and forth on those feet. Otherwise, try to warm up that ankle complex, those calves a little bit more. 10 seconds left on this one, then we're gonna be doing some walk downs. Just keep those lungs open. And let it relax, we're gonna do a walk down, so feet about shoulder width apart, straight down towards those toes as low as you can go, then walk those hands out to a full plank, and then come right back up. If you wanna do a push up at the bottom, you can, but remember, we're not really trying to work ourselves too much here. We're just trying to warm those muscles up a little bit. All 
All right, up and out to our next. So one leg comes up and out to the side, and same thing on the other. Trying to keep those uh, hips facing straight forward each time. So a little bit of a hop on that foot. Kind of similar to that boxer shuffle. A little different footwork. You can also take that bounce out of it if you want to, if you want to make this a little bit lower impact. Doing an up and out jack next. So in the front and then out to the sides. So basically it's a regular jumping jack mixed with a ventral jack. Just keep those lungs open, keep that shoulder nice and tight, keep that arm rigid. Don't just swing those arms around. You want to feel like those arms are under control the entire time. And let that relax. Take a nice deep breath, Let's try to recover a little bit. We are going to go straight into our first round or our first group of uh, exercises here. Remember, we've got a cardio one, then strength, then core. They're going to be moving pretty quickly, so make sure you take a look at what the strength exercise is so you have that weight ready to go. See you in just a second. All right, everyone, we're going to be doing each one of these exercises for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, so it's going to be moving pretty quickly between these exercises. Uh, we're going to be starting off with a pop squat, then we're moving on to a sumo squat, clean and press, and then an X crunch. So that's our first group. Remember, we're doing each one of these twice before we move to the next. So we're not going to come back around. It's A, A, B, B, C, C, and then we're moving to the next group. All right, with that said, make sure you have your weight ready for that strength section if you're using weights. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get ready for that pop squat. We'll be starting here in just a second. So take a nice deep breath. Remember that pop squat is going to be really close and out to the side. All right, five seconds left. I'm going to be doing this 20 seconds. Push yourself nice and hard. This is our cardio portion. So just a slightly lighter version of a squat jump. If you want to make it harder, just go straight into a regular squat jump. Just skip that little pop in the middle. All right, 10 second break. We're going to start right back into that again. So again, you can choose whether or not you want to do these pop squats or make it a little bit harder for yourself and do just straight jump squats. All right. Try to get nice and low every single time you do this. How far out you kick those legs is up to you. You can go full sumo and get those legs really wide. Or you can just do a traditional squat down the middle. All right. Let that relax. We've got sumo squat plus a clean and press. So I'm going to be using uh, 24 pounds for this, just uh, for your reference. All right, so feet really nice and wide. You're going to drop down, pop them up, and then over your head, nice and slow down. Pop them up, and all the way over your head. So all of this should be driving from those legs. And let it relax. All right. Like I said, all this should be driving from your legs. You should be um, using momentum driven from those legs to get this thing going. Those arms shouldn't really have to do much here at all. If you notice, this is a lot more difficult than a traditional squat because you don't have as much range of motion on those knees from that sumo squat position. All right, that's our two, let it relax. Drop down onto the ground. We are doing an X squat next. So flat on your back, feet together, hands behind your head. Bring your right arm across to your left foot and back. Then right, or sorry, left to right, right to left. So kind of crunch a bit diagonally rather than straight down towards those toes. All right, let it relax for just a second. We're gonna do that one more time. This is gonna be our last exercise for this group, and we're gonna move straight into our second group. So feet together again, crunch across. Try to keep those core muscles nice and tight. You're not letting them relax when you drop down. You're keeping those, uh, those core muscles, those abdominal muscles tensed. Just keep it going. 
All right, go and stand up. We're moving straight into runners. So plant your left foot. Your right foot's gonna be doing all the movement. So slight uh, lunge in that right, left knee. Right knee is just coming forward. If you wanna get your actual running motion with those arms, you can do it like so. Pump those arms back and forth. If you want a more of a kind of a crunch movement, you can use kind of like a knee doing kickboxing. All right, let that relax. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna be switching here. So plant that right leg this time. Left one's doing all the work. Remember you can do your running movement with those arms or a knee kind of position, whichever feels more comfortable to you. All right, let it relax. We're moving into our strength exercise, which is a deadlift and a close row. So I'm gonna use about the same amount of weight. So deadlift down, palms facing in, close row up, and come back up. Keep that back flat, pressing that chest forward. So if anything, you're feeling like you have a bow in your back or a dip in your back as opposed to a round. All right, let that relax for just a second. We're gonna do that uh, right again. Another 20 seconds. Right, deadlift down, close row at the bottom and stand back up from that deadlift. Remember, we're doing a straight leg deadlift here. So those legs are staying relatively straight, all that movement coming from that hip joint. <clears throat> all right, let that relax. We're moving to, a, to our uh, core exercise, which is a back bow jack, flat on your stomach. Start with those arms and legs nice and wide. You're gonna lift them up off the ground and down. Straighten them out, up and down, back out. If you want to make it a lot more difficult, hover. Let that relax. Got one more of those, and then we get a water break. That is if I've done my counting right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Back bow jack. And let that relax. All right, I did count right. The timer is done, which means we get a little bit of a water break. Go grab a drink of water, take a look at what our next two groups are to pick out some weight for that strength exercise. Otherwise, I'll see you in just a second. All right, we have two more groups to go. Same exact pattern, different exercises. Let me get my timer started here. Starting off with jumping lunges. You can do just an alternating lunge if you want a lower impact. Otherwise, follow along with me with that jumping lunge. All right, get ready. And start it up. Just back and forth. Trying to make sure you have your weight evenly dispersed between front and rear leg. Nice full range of motion on each one of them. Try not to land hard. You want to absorb as much of that shock as you can. And let it relax. We've got one more round of those. And start them up. Remember you can do just an alternating lunge, forward lunge step out if you prefer to take that impact out. Otherwise, following along with me for this jumping lunge. All right, let that relax. We are moving on to a curtsy lunge plus a curl. I'm using 16 pounds per hand for this one. So, step behind you, 
across slightly, come back up, curl the top. Curtsy lunge behind you, the opposite side, curl the top. If you want to try to get a little more combination movement, you can just by trying to stack those movements together. Just be very, very clear on that form for each one. If you want to curl, you go down. That's also an option. Or curl as you come back up, drop as you go down. All right, that's our strength, which means we're going on to our core, which is windshield wipers. You land flat on my back for this one. Legs straight up above your head or bent at a 90 degree angle for the easier version. Just gonna rotate left to right as far as you can comfortably without letting that opposite shoulder lift up off the ground. Keeping those core muscles nice and tight. Instead of full extension is the harder version. Let that relax for just a second. We're gonna do one more of those. And then we're gonna do our last group. <clears throat> All right. Windshield wipers, as much range of motion on those legs as you can. Rotating left to right, keeping those shoulders pinned to the ground. Your hips can rock up side to side, but your shoulders need to stay plastered to the ground. Again, if you want a little easier version, you could bend those knees. And let that relax, go ahead and jump up. Actually, we're gonna be down in planks for the last three. So we're doing a lizard hop next. So stand nice and low, hopping those feet in and out. Stand as low to the ground as you can. We're gonna do one more set of those. <clears throat> Let it relax. We're going to do a push-up plus a row next. I'm just going to use one dumbbell here. So, push-up from that plank, row, push-up, row. Cover as best you can. Push up, row, push up, row. Try to keep those shoulders as straight down to the ground as you can. All right, let that dumbbell drop. We are doing a plank to T stabilization next. Ooh, I'm getting tired, I don't know about you. All right, so plank to T stabilization, plank, T stabilization on the other side. Just alternate back and forth, keeping those lungs open. A little bit of a pause at each position. All right, let that relax. We have one more set, and then we get another water break. All right, plank to T-stabilization, plank to T-stabilization. If you wanna make it really hard, stack those feet. Makes those core muscles have to work harder. Try one more on the other side real quick. Make sure we're balanced. And let it relax. All right, let's take a little bit of a break. Grab a drink of water, 
All we have left is our cool down and stretch. So we'll see you in just a second for that. All right, all we have left is our cool down and stretch. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece, starting off with an arm across stretch. So take a nice deep breath in, pull your left arm across in front of your chest, grab the right, keep it nice and close to that neck, and just hold it there, breathing normally. Remember there's a cool down, so if you're still feeling out of breath from the workout, keep that deep breathing going until you feel that uh, breathing start to subside. So. Nice, long, full, deep breaths. Don't hyperventilate little short breaths. The deeper the breath, the longer the breath, the more oxygen you're going to get into your system. All right, we're going to be switching sides here in just a second. And bring that right arm across, grab with the left, up to that neck as close as is comfortable. You should be feeling it across your upper back, if that's a particularly tight area for you. If you have a lot of uh, flexibility in that, the back of that shoulder, which a lot of people do from lots of sitting in front of a computer or playing on their phone. But just roll it around, find what's uh, tight for you. All right, we're doing a quad stretch next. So standing up nice and straight and tall. Left leg comes back. If you need to lean against something, do so. But if you can, just use balance for this. So standing straight and tall on one leg, opposite leg gets pulled back, heel to butt. Pull that knee back behind you so that quad uh, jumps in there, starts getting a good stretch. You might even feel it in the front of that hip flexor. Keeping that torso straight up and down. Just breathe normally. And switch sides. Right heel to butt, or opposite side you were doing last time. Pull that knee back behind you. Again, torso straight up and down. No leaning forward from your from your back or from your hips. Everything nice and straight and tall. Ooh, I'm sweating. Must have been a good workout. All right, let that relax. We are doing a toe touch next. So feet just about shoulder width apart. You can go straight down with the flat back first. Hold it there. Once you feel that tension in your hamstrings, just hold it there for a second and then round forward for the rest of the stretch. Try to keep those legs locked out straight. At the very least, a slight, 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 slight bend. Don't let them over bend. All right, stand back up. We're doing a wall chest stretch next. So fingers facing back behind you. Find a wall or a door frame. Fingers back behind you to about shoulder height and then turn back on that hand until you feel it jump into your chest. If you want to feel a little more stretching that, the palm of that hand, the forearm, just walk across that arm a little bit more. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and switch. Fingers facing back behind you. Open that chest up. Get that stretch in your chest. If you want a little bit more stretch in your forearm and your palm of your hand, just walk across that arm a little bit more. Try to get that arm kind of out from back behind you. We'll put more of a flex on your wrist and less on your shoulder. So just remember to keep, pull, keep pulling that uh, chest open. All right, we're doing IT band with an overhead stretch. So right behind left, you're going to just lean away from that rear leg arm over your head. So it helps stretch it out. You should get a good stretch all the way through that torso. Should even feel it a little bit into the outside of that thigh. Feel free to get a little extra step on there. A little extra uh, step across with the front leg. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So left leg is behind you this time. We're going to lean away from that left side, or whichever the opposite was from what you are doing last. Good lean to that torso, getting a good stretch to that oblique, maybe even up through that shoulder. 
should be feeling a little bit at least into the outside of that thigh, maybe outside of your knee, maybe even outside of ankle. All right, down on the ground, we got one more to go through. This is a cobra. So hands, base of rib cage. We're trying to do a nice full flex here. Arch up as high as is comfortable. Try to straighten those arms out if it's comfortable for you. Pull those shoulders down, back behind you. Look up towards the ceiling. And let that relax. All right, that is the end of this workout. Went by super quick. I'm nice and sweaty. i uh, actually feeling even a little bit uh, jelly through those legs. So this sounds like a pretty good, uh, pretty good return on just a few minutes worth of work. Um, so if you need to, make sure you get some a little bit of a snack in to recharge. Make sure you get some water in, especially if you've been sweating a lot. Otherwise, this workout is complete. Thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.